Hi, my name is Pete Guthrie and I'm seeking the nomination for the United Conservative Party in Airdrie Cochrane. In my opinion, this federal Liberal government, since coming into power, has been after control of Alberta's resources with the purpose of limiting the sector for their ideological agenda. A UCP government would help to protect our interests with an approach that balances environmental concerns with those of the business and resource sector. They can work in tandem with each other. Now, I believe it was April of this year. Justin Trudeau told a group of wealthy Europeans that he was disappointed that he could not phase out Canada's oil industry tomorrow. So comments like this should worry Albertans greatly as the federal government now owns our only pipeline to Tidewater. Let's look at this a little bit closer. Now first, the Trudeau government cancelled Energy East and the Northern Gateway pipelines, opting to use oil from Saudi Arabia, Nigeria and Venezuela, all having horrendous environmental and human rights records. And two, they introduced red tape drastically on resource projects as well as pipeline projects, including up and downstream emissions. Yet, the federal government provides exemptions to a Quebec cement plant and provides permits for billions of liters of raw sewage to be discharged into our waterways. Three, they created the Impact Assessment Agency of Canada via Bill C-69, which is designed to stifle growth in the resource sector by increasing scrutiny and giving more power to activist groups in resource project development. Four, the federal government placed a moratorium on oil tankers along BC's northern coastline. And it's worthy to note here that the tanker ban only includes bitumen and condensate products. You know, those effectively coming from Alberta. And it does not include BC's liquid natural gas shipments. So it is specifically designed to limit sales of Alberta's oil and gas products to international markets. And finally, there's the implementation of the carbon tax. This has a primary target of $50 a ton, but the federal government has designs on $200 a ton. Now look, this doesn't do anything for the environment. These monies go into general revenue. It is purely a sales tax in disguise. We also need to remember here that the federal government hasn't done anything to stop radical environmental groups or the BC government themselves from interfering with Trans Mountain Pipeline. And Justin Trudeau recently stated that he will not legislate the pipeline in the national interest of the country, giving both Horgan and activist groups continued license to interfere. And all of this sounds like a bad joke, but it doesn't have to be. We will require a strong government to defend, protect, and promote our province. The UCP provides that hope. And I'm glad that we have Jason Kenney's federal experience to guide us but he will require a strong supporting group of MLAs. My name is Peter Guthrie. I'm asking you for your support to become the candidate for Airdrie Cochrane. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, you can send them to info at peterguthrie.ca or you can like me on Facebook at Peter Guthrie for MLA. Thank you.